Hi all, on the 3rd of November, I was invited to present at the Lower Limb Conference. It was put on by a friend and colleague, uh, Cameron Bennett. Uh, the event was held in Brisbane at the VALD headquarters. Uh, VALD is a sports technology company. Uh, the venue I really liked had a quite a, a chilled atmosphere. Uh, the conference went on for a couple of days. Uh, the presenters were ex excellent. Actually, the, the calibre of the presenters made me a little bit nervous. Uh, they were that good. It's a bit different. You can see it's multi-layered. The screen is here. Looks like there's this outdoor area as well. Uh, there was an area for sponsors and also a space out the back where uh, the, uh, the workshops took place. Uh, my presentation was on the paediatric flat foot. Uh, during the presentation, uh, we went through the planes of deformity. Uh, there were a number of slides. Uh, this included uh, sagittal plane involvement with collapse of the medial longitudinal arch, uh, frontal plane involvement with severe everted position of the calcaneus, and transverse plane deformity uh, with adduction of the talus, also abduction of the midfoot and forefoot. Uh, this uh, transverse plane involvement uh, leads to shortening of the uh, lateral column of the foot. Uh, the main reason I'm making this video is because I went through a taping technique that uh, focuses on lengthening the lateral column. So if the forefoot is abduct, pardon me, adducted, uh, this not only corrects the transverse plane, but will also uh, correct sagittal and frontal plane deformities. This taping can also be combined with uh, taping that plantar flexes the first ray. All right, let's um, let's go through that taping method. So we start on the plantar medial aspect of the arch. Um, it's, it's around the talo navicular joint. Uh, then we go laterally to the level of the calcaneocuboid joint. So at this level, if you pull the tape it will adduct and evert the forefoot, so the opposite of what we want to do. But if you extend the tape along the dorsal lateral aspect and then pull it, it will uh, then adduct the forefoot and the midfoot. So with this motion, you will also get some inversion of the calcaneus and you'll also get some sagittal plane correction uh, of the medial longitudinal arch. The taping is ended by just sticking it um, around the medial malleolus. The second part of the taping involves plantar flexing the first ray, uh, pushing down with the second and third fingers onto the first metatarsal while dorsiflexing the hallux with your thumb. Anchor the taping then to the uh, lateral aspect of the foot uh, around the cuboid joint. Once you've got uh, the first ray plantar flexed, uh, pull down on the tape hard and then gently attach it to the plantar aspect of the foot. Here are some uh, pictures of with and without taping. Uh, you can see that the medial longitudinal arch has uh, been increased with the tape. Looking from the back, the calcaneus is less everted with the taping and also the foot is less abducted uh, with the tape.